Item number SCP-573, Object Class, Euclid, formerly safe. Special containment procedures, none needed. Object is stored in Dr. Beep's desk. Update, object is to be locked in one of Site-62 secure lockers. SCP-573 requires the agreement of two members of senior staff in order to be removed from containment. No one is allowed to make use of SCP-573 without at least two backup researchers. Testing of SCP-573 around children is hereby denied without O5 approval. Description SCP-573 is a flute made from bone. DNA and carbon testing reveal the material to be human, female, and approximately a thousand years old. The bone is a femur and, from the size, comes from a child between the ages of 7 and 12. SCP-573 was discovered in Bibb, Louisiana, by agents investigating the disappearance of local children. Agents arriving on the scene were attacked by a pack of wild animals, several different species working together. Once the animals were put down, the agents were then attacked by several of the missing children, being urged on by one their world king, the then owner of SCP-573, Agent Beep shot Mr. King, ending his hold over the children and preventing a major incident. Testing of SCP-573 has revealed that, when played, it places animals and pubescent children into a highly receptive state. All creatures so affected are eager and willing to do whatever the player requests including things that are beyond them when in an untranced state. Once the instrument is played, subjects remain in the trance state for five times the period the flute was played for. For example, play the flute for a minute, the trance remains for five minutes. Knowledge of how to play a flute is not needed to effectively use SCP-573. Anyone attempting to use SCP-573 will find themselves able to play the flute as if they have been playing for years and can play any song they desire. Addendum As of beep, SCP-573 is not to be used on human subjects. As revealed in Diary 573, SCP-573 provokes feelings of revulsion and paranoia in the user, specifically toward Pupilescent. These feelings increase gradually and steadily until the wielder finds himself acting out violently and maliciously toward any pupilescent under his influence. Human testing within SCP-573 is thus suspended indefinitely. 056. Personal Diary of Dr. Julius Beep. Diary Entry 573-1. In my research for the Foundation, I have found that the official log is very the place to input personal observations. Therefore, I am logging this diary in an attempt to keep my own ideas readily available to myself. SCP-573 is a flute capable of learning and entrancing animals and children. When entranced, subjects will do anything the flute player requests of them without limit. So far, testing has been done solely on animals, without any negative consequences. Senior staff has given me approval to move the testing up to children. I will be testing six children, all aged eight years old, three boys, three girls. One of each will be tested on mental and physical assignments, with the final two children acting as baseline study being put into a trance without any outside stimulus. Current test subjects, Cindy, female, physical. Tom, male, physical. Mariah, female, mental. Stuart, male, mental. Belana, female, base. Sam, male, base. Diary Entry 573-2 Met with the children today. Everything went well. The kids are... Well, kids, alternatively monsters and angels as they wish. Seeing as SCP-573 is capable of keeping the children in line, 
I have been informed that I will not have assistance in these tests, and that even the children's nominal caretakers will be leaving for other duties while they are in my care. Due to this unfortunate circumstance, I will be handling the children as one group instead of in separate chambers as I had hoped. The children were rowdy when first dropped off, but I had them sit in their chairs and proceed to play SCP-573 for ten minutes. At the first note, the children immediately relaxed, all tension leaving their bodies. I instructed Tom and Cindy through a series of basic maneuvers, which they accomplished with ease. I then led Stuart and Mariah through some basic math and recitals, which they picked up with ease. This should be my easiest project yet. Diary Entry 573-5 The testing continues apace. Today, I had the physical children dress in workout clothes and sent them through some tumbling. A close examination of the children proves that their physical attractiveness has increased drastically under the influence of SCP-573. Diary Entry 573-7 I couldn't help myself. Watching these children, knowing that they would remember nothing from the time entranced, having such control, watching them tease me, they always teasing, 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 winking at me, rubbing against me, saying things, such things these children say. I had to, had to show them how much pleasure they gave me, such lovely little bodies. Such lovely children, they enjoyed watching me. I could tell by the smiles. Diary Entry 573-9 Those little brats, they've been thinking not remembering. I know it. When I came into the room today, we were all talking about each other. Cindy was holding her fingers two inches apart and laughing about it. I've overheard Tom say that his is even bigger than that. But they paid for it. Oh, yes. None of those monsters can lay claim of being pure anymore. Acted like they didn't know what had happened, and they knew. I could tell they were sorry for making fun of me, but they deserved everything they got. Diary Entry 573-17 It doesn't matter what I do to them. They keep teasing me, keep talking about me. These rancid little beasts think they're better than me. They think they can talk about a learned doctor behind his back without him knowing. Oh, these children are in for it, and not just the little things I'm doing. No more burns and cuts. Oh, no. These children will pay for their insolence. Note on Beep. Security responded to an alarm called in by one Dorius Trey, a Site-63 caregiver. Upon arriving at Room 301, security discovered Dr. Beep covered in a mist of remains of his young charges, covered in their blood, laughing and claiming that he had shown those little brats. Such instability being previously undocumented in Dr. Beep, we are forced to assume such beings came from SCP-573, a fact corroborated by the remains found at the SCP's discovery. As of now, further human testing on SCP-573 is denied. 056